Hello, this is Handy Doctor. I am old timer. I still use Windows 7 on one of my computer. At the same time, I use Google Chrome. And for those who have the same setup, you may realize that now there is a warning message out here. Well, I honestly could get Windows 10 for free on this computer, but I just love Windows 7. So, what should I do? You actually can get rid of this message completely. And let me show you how to do that. Uh, you need registry editor. And to do it, you want to hit Windows key and R on your keyboard to get run. And you just type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T and hit enter. It will give you a warning. Do you really want to do that? And the answer is, yes, I have no choice. So that opens up the registry editor. And if you never use it, this is more or less how it looks like. Um, be careful, though. We want to go to local machine. We don't want anything else. Even though the setup looks very similar, if you open it up, no, we don't want to use anything else. So local machine. And under it, you want to go to software. And then under it, you want to go to policies. And right now, there is only Microsoft available. You want to highlight policies and right click and go to new. You want to create a new key and name the key as Google. And then you want to highlight Google again and right click. Go to new, you want to get a new key under Google, and we want to call it Chrome, like that, okay? And now you go to the right side, you want to right click again, and new, this time you want a D word 32 bits. So click that one, and now you need to name it, and the name is very important, it has to be exactly in this way, as capitalized, Suppress and the U have to be capitalized as U and support it. O S both capitalized warning the W have to be capitalized. So exactly like this, suppress and support it. O S warning and again. Uh, upper lowercase matter and then you just left click anywhere and now you right click on the name and you see modify left click and then change the number to one and then you hit OK that should be good okay um, you close your Chrome next time you open it there shouldn't be any warning message anymore so pretty easy, right? Uh, I hope you say yes. And if you think this video is helpful for you, I would really appreciate you like and subscribe to my channel. Your subscription is the biggest incentive for me to grow my channel, by the way. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.